This is Michael Dermer, and I am the author of The Lonely Entrepreneur. I hope you enjoy today's perspective. Entrepreneurs all have our crazy stories. Here's one from The Lonely Entrepreneur. You know, in the early days of our business, we used to you know, give folks uh, gift certificates and gift cards um, for meeting the corporate objectives that they would meet, you know, some, some things like healthy behaviors. And, and, you know, in one particular Christmas season, even though we were a B2B business, um, we got flooded with um, people earning incentives and rewards uh, and selecting different gift certificates. And, and the way part of our business worked was you know, we had deals with retailers. And so we would buy a $100 Barnes & Noble gift certificate for $85. And we had negotiated deals with all these different gift card retailers. Well, we started moving so much volume one Christmas um, that we went back to all of our corporate contacts at these different retailers and said, listen, you know, we negotiated a deal with you, but we're bringing you much, much more volume than I think any of us had anticipated. You know, we want a better deal. And almost all of them, to no fail, said, nope, our deal is our deal. And so, you know, we had the bright idea that we would, where we were based in, in northern New Jersey, um, it's basically like strip mall after strip mall. And so, you know, we just took a trip to a couple of the retailers and started to have conversations with the local folks. And so I'll never forget, I walked into uh, an Applebee's on Route 17 in, in Paramus, New Jersey. And at that time, for some reason, Applebee's was a hugely popular retailer being selected by all these people throughout the country. And I knew that over the course of the next month or so around the holiday system, I was probably going to need somewhere in the neighborhood of fifty to $100,000 worth of Applebee's, Applebee's gift certificates. And so I walked in the place, you know, and it was empty at 10 in the morning. And, you know, the, the 22-year-old, you know, clerk behind the counter you know, welcomed me. And I said, hey, listen, I, can I speak to your manager? I'd like to, like to talk to you about buying some gift certificates. And, and he said, oh, that, that's awesome. He goes, we have a contest. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, the Applebee's store that sells the most gift certificates, the whole staff gets to go to Hawaii. And, you know, I literally had a check for $25,000 in my pocket and I was going to have to buy $100,000 over the course of the month. And I said, do you have any idea how much gift certificates you'd have to sell to win? And he goes, I don't know exactly. He goes, but last year the winner sold $22,000 worth of gift certificates. And so I said, great. I said, um, so how much would you charge us for $100 gift certificates if we agreed to commit to $10,000 worth of gift certificates? And so he kind of, you know, ran in the back like they do, like at the used car shop, car, car salesman runs in the back and speaks to their manager and comes out and he gave me a number. And I said, Okay, that's not too bad. But what happens if I agreed to buy twenty five thousand dollars worth of gift certificates? And they ran back again, and and you know had a little huddle with the team, and came back out again. Uh, and finally, I you know negotiated all the way up to um, to fifty thousand dollars worth of gift certificates. Um, and so we went back to our office, and we had this deal. And periodically, you know, one of our employees would take a trip to these different retailers um, and pick up the gift certificates. And, and I'll never forget. Um, regardless of the time of day, right? Because we made the, the day of these different local Applebee's and, and other retailers. Regardless of the time of day, whenever our employee would show up, um, there's always be a delay in getting us the gift certificates. And, and delay was always for the same reason. They would stop and they would basically make us the platter of all the different appetizers you could get at Applebee's. You know, you'd get chicken wings and potato skins and nachos, and it could be nine in the morning or nine at night. They would always take the time, make us wait, and make the person picking up the gift certificates, you know, eat some of this food that they had put together. And every single time, you know, people would come back to the office, they'd come back with, you know, $10,000 worth of Applebee's gift certificates and marinara sauce all over their face. Um, and you know, that's just the, the creativity that you need when you're, you're trying to build a business from scratch. Join the Lonely Entrepreneur community and receive a free perspective of the day. Visit us at lonelyentrepreneur.com slash subscribe. And remember, the difference between success and failure is your perspective.